Hey everyone, welcome to Nightcap Whiskey. Tonight, we're reviewing Amrit Portanova. All right, thanks for joining me everyone. I am really excited in regards to trying one of the Amrits. So this is my first Indian whiskey that I will be sampling here. And uh, you can already see a little bit's gone. So um, I, I picked this one up not too long ago, ordered this one, and I was always curious in regards to different parts of the world, like how did it actually taste? So we're gonna go through that, talk a little bit about the inception of this company. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below, give it a like and give a comment. Have you tried any of their products uh, from their distillery? Amrit Whiskey is a single malt whiskey that was founded by Amrit Distilleries Limited. Amrit is a single malt whiskey, and it's the first of its kind ever in India. And its name, uh, Amrit or Amrita, it actually translates into the drink of the gods, nectar of the gods. This actually, in how the company translates it, it translates it as the elixir of life. Now, one of the interesting things I found about Amrit was they don't release age statements on some of their products. And some of their fear is that if a consumer were to know like how young it is or the, the heating aspect, perhaps just like in other countries where there's like the angel share, the evaporation, that customers or consumers might be turned off by that. Keep in mind, that's just for their single malts. Now, inception of the company was in 1948. And on their website, when you visit it, it has like a wheel of different uh, years and some of the key mi milestones that have happened. Now, the weird part is between 1948 and I think it was like 2002 that I had uh, written down here. Um, when you click on the individual pictures, it'll take you to uh, a page and it has Amrit's uh, logo and all of its information regarding you know its website. But there's no, no context, no written pieces of information about those milestones. So I'm, I'm kind of curious as to why that is. You know, go check it out. I don't think it's an internet browser thing, but I, I found that very peculiar when I was doing some of my research on this. In 2002, Amrit actually did a study of how to launch their product in Scotland. 2004, that's when they actually launched their product in Scotland and began getting that product out there. Now in 2009 is when there was a little bit of notice on their Amrit Fusion. Uh, Jim Murray from Whiskey Bible uh, gave it a third place amongst the world's finest whiskies. So that actually boosted their level in regards to, hey, we got a contender here on an Indian single malt whiskey. In 2010, that's when Amrit launched their single malt in India. So you can tell they did a little bit of their research years prior, and then once they felt comfortable, then they brought it back home. In 2017, the Amrit single malt was available in 44 different countries. And now, let's get a pour on. Okay, let's get right into this. Let's hit the nose. So immediately, and you can probably take, you know, the name of this and figure out strong port right off the bat. Just, just really intense port. Wow, you get almost like a, um, a strawberry, I would say a strawberry type of jam in there as well. Port though is just, it's just, oh, through and through. That's probably one of the strongest ports I, I've noticed in a long time. It actually, for me, I find it's a little bit more stronger than let's say a, a Dalmore port would. And that's a nice whiskey too, but uh, I'm not too sure. Okay, so with this whiskey, it is a 48% ABV, and the cask finish is three, actually. Two are the same, one's different. So it matured in ex-bourbon cask, then it went to port pipe, and then back into a bourbon or ex-bourbon casks again. Okay, so let's get right into the nose, and let's see what this is all about. So the port on this, I find, is extremely strong, which is, a, which is great. It tells me there's probably gonna be a lot of flavor on the palate. But as for the nose, I find this one just crushes it. The One of the other uh, products I've had was the Delmore Portwood, which that's a nice product too. But this on the nose just blows that out of the water. It's just very intense. And wow, like there's just so much going in there. You can get some of that, that vanilla that came out of that uh, ex-bourbon cask. But like the port, 
just it just rules the roost on this one. So the vanilla, like I said, I wouldn't say it's complex on the nose either. So jam like nosing like strawberry. All in all, that's a nice nose on it. So let's head over now to the palette. Wow. That is that is exceptional. That is just port pipe for days. Like just the port there. Wow. Get that sweetness. Um, and it's not overly sweet. There's like that 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 strawberry earthy type of note to it, but I get strawberry like a jam. Man. Um, vanilla's there too. That that is really, really nice on the palate. That is that is really, really good. Get oak in there. Maybe a pinch of salt, maybe. But you get the oak in there too. That's exceptional. That is wonderful. Let's let's get right down to the finish. Wow, the finish is it's perfect. 48% ABV. It's smooth as hell. Le leaves a little a little bit, but I would say it dissipates quite quick. There is just so much flavor that's packed into this one. This is this is really really nice. Okay, so would I recommend it or not? Hell yeah. Uh, this is a an exquisite bottle. I am really glad I picked this up. I'm a sucker for uh, like a port, like a really strong kind of like fruity type of uh, scotch. Like Oloroso is another great one, but my God, this is this is a treasure, and I am really happy that I made this purchase. So, um, you know, for those who enjoy scotch, Oloroso finish or port finish, you'd be crazy not to try this stuff. So, I would say run out and get it. If you're a connoisseur of uh, scotch, uh, like I said, so if you are really into getting quality stuff, this is really good. And again, there's no age statement on this. So some of the products have it, some of the products don't. And regardless, that is an indication that you don't necessarily need to keep an eye on you know, the, the age. I personally do like knowing the age of it, but this is really, really nice. It is a quality product, and I, I recommend going out and buying this. So um, that's the review, guys. Really do appreciate the fact that you spent your time here today. And as always, drink well, drink responsibly, drink whiskey, and Merry Christmas. Hey.